Alright, um, welcome to our uh, demo for our senior project. My name is Victory and I'm in the Renewable Energy uh, Engineering Program. And this is Daniel. I'm Daniel and I'm also in the Renewable Energy Engineering Program. I'm Samuel Cole and I'm in the Renewable Energy Engineering Program here at the Oregon Institute of Technology. In the next uh, 8 minutes or 10 minutes or so, we're going to be explaining to you guys our senior project, which is Water Desalination System. So um, I'm going to explain how the system is going to be powered and so if you look at down here uh, this is a 100 watt solar panel that we bought, uh, that we bought um, from Home Depot and so um, if you look over on this side this, this panel has a function of powering the pump and on this side you will see a battery that's connected to the solar panel and the solar panel is going to be powering this battery and this battery is going to be charged and so it's going to um, power the pump and over there um, over on that corner you will see an inverter that inverts the DC power into AC power and then so that you can use uh, the power generated by this panel to power the pump so uh, this is the um, pump that's going to be used to circulate the water now the pump is again uh, as I have mentioned before is powered by the solar panel and this is a 45 watt pump um, and it's a pretty powerful pump and it can um, generate uh, f quite a fast uh, flow rate. So now uh, my friend Daniel is going to explain a bit more about the system. Uh, this is what's called a CPC, a compound parabolic collector or concentrate. Okay. Hello, my name is Daniel and I'm going to talk to you about the CPC compound parabolic concentrator. Uh, this Concentrator is arrayed with uh, three evacuated tubes. These tubes um, do with our task and can reach up to 310 Fahrenheit. Uh, and so these two, uh, these um, compound parabolic concentrators are able to multiply the sunlight that these tubes get up to three, three times. Now these three tubes is what provides the heating for water to facilitate the evaporation. CPCs are angled at 42 degrees, and that is due to the, uh, the latitude angle of Klamath Falls. If it were in Indonesia, it would be like flat because you guys are in the uh, As you can see, inside of this evacuated tube is what can get up to 310 degrees Fahrenheit. Now this part is the heat exchanger where the actual brine runs through. That, this little tip right here, that little bowl has a refrigerant that is heated inside the evacuated tube and transfers heat to this heat exchanger which the water is continuously pumped through. Now, this insulation is also to keep the heat in. Now, the water is pumped by the pump that you saw earlier. It gets drained from the bottom of uh, this tank, pumps the water through the heat exchanger, which actually spans about a meter and a half, and the water that's heated goes into the evaporation tank and goes into a bin and circulates through the system constantly. Now I'll introduce you to my friend Sam, Samuel Cole, which will introduce the evaporation tank and its con and condensator. So this is our evaporation tank, and how it works is in here you can see a big black bin. It holds all of our salt water that is circulated, and slowly throughout the day, the temperature inside the black bin rises. Um, as it rises, the water evaporates and is in a vapor form. It condenses on these panels right here on the inside of it. When there's enough water, it runs down the sides and into these gutters right here. Because of how the gutters are sloped, the water then runs together into this holding tank right here. And then you can open this up right here and you have clean, drinkable water. A couple ways this can be made more effective is by covering this system to keep these sides cool 
but to keep the water hot and that helps the water or keeps the water from evaporating again and it helps it go to where it needs to go. Also you need to make sure that it is angled enough so the water flows into here and thirdly um, putting a bucket of water in there with a rag uh, allows the humidity inside of here to reach near a hundred percent and that helps keep all the moisture in here and helps us collect all the water. Um, you can fill this tank by opening this valve here and pouring water in and that helps you fill it up during the day. At night there's a valve right under here that you open up to drain it and that's how the evaporation tank works. Alright, thank you for watching our video and this is our presentation and demonstration of our senior project. Our hope is that eventually this, this concept and this idea can be implemented back home and that the government would invest more into renewable energy projects, particularly emphasizing in water provision. Uh, to the government of Papua province, we would like to say, Thank you.